Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli, and thank you for joining my channel. If you're new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to all of my Patreons. Your support is much appreciated. Consider becoming a Patreon, and those who uh, order their Tesla using my link, if you buying a Tesla, why don't you use my link and get a free supercharging miles? Uh, Tyson Park is a former um, Tesla employee, and he was interviewed by Kim from Like Tesla. She is freaking awesome. I watch her videos all the time. She's really, really good. And it's great that uh, 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 women uh, have a, a car, a, a electric car channels. That's great. Um, she had a very interesting interview with Tyson Park, who's a former um, Tesla employee. I'll put a link for the, at the end, I'll put a link for the, uh, full interview so you can watch but he said a lot of things about the atmosphere of tesla working at tesla the layoffs the viciousness the chaos the unprofessionalism the turnover the um quality uh, of the cars he talked about a range of things he's not a tesla hater whatsoever he's actually a tesla lover supports the mission and support elon musk but I want to focus on one thing that he said. I mean, I encourage you to watch the whole thing. I, di I did watch the whole thing. It's about 25 minute interview. And uh, the one thing that, uh, that he said that blew my mind and Kim, when she was in she was like, holy moly, what did you, what did you just say? I mean, what I'm going to share with you, if you didn't see the interview is, um, you know what, why don't you watch this short segment and I'll come back with uh, my comment. Exceptional, I would say, 50% of them are good employees that are on for, that are there because of the mission. And then the, the other 50% are, and there's 25% of them that are just there for a paycheck. And then this is just my suspicion. And this is just because, and this last part is just my suspicion because of the department that I worked for and the, the very strange hiccups that I would find. Um, it would not surprise me if there was about 25% infiltration from other companies like Ford, Chevy. Wow. Wow. That's... That are just that are just there throwing monkey wrenches into it. Wow. So it definitely sounds like there's some work to be done. So obviously he doesn't have, he does not have evidence for this. Obviously he doesn't have evidence for this. It's just his thought that 25% of the workforce in Tesla are there to sabotage Tesla. Uh, infiltrators from GM and Ford, he says. This is his words. I cannot verify anything, and I don't think he can verify it too. Uh, you know, 25% there just to pay, uh, just to get a paycheck. In most works, what that's what people do. They there if they don't like the work, they just because they need money. And the others are really, really uh, into it. 25% um, sabotaging the company. I don't know about that. I don't know. I, I really don't know. I, I can tell you from my experience. I have a Tesla Model 3. I picked it up uh, last October 2018. Uh, I had no quality control issues whatsoever. No fit and fitness. Uh, no mechanical issues. You know, tiny bit, bits. Nothing. Really nothing burger. Drove this car close to 30,000 miles. Eight major road trips. Nada. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I can tell you that when I picked it up, it was in the height of uh, Tesla delivery hell uh, last year, where Tesla tried to, deli to deliver as many cars as possible. And I can tell you that the the Tesla service center where I picked my car uh, was like delivering 10, 20 a day. And the chaos there was obvious. Now I came with a big smile. I was not in a rush. You know, I, I need to come tomorrow. I'll come tomorrow. I don't care. Meaning, I did not care for customer service or customer experience. I just was happy to get my car. I had a very smooth experience. But when I was there, 
people were yelling. Uh, this guy had left. Uh, words like the right hand doesn't know what the left hand is doing was uttered many times. Frustrated people. Uh, really uh, Tesla worker with their head on fire. Not knowing what to do. This is a very young, uh, 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 raw um, company who has a lot to work. Now, the mission is fabulous. I do videos about this every single day. Uh, but the chaos, the chaos was obvious. Now, the lovers said, you know, whatever, we'll forgive you. I mean, I would not tolerate that in, in, a, in a dealership. I would totally not tolerate that. But it, with Tesla, you know, I tolerated it by, and, and all that. I, I personally didn't care. But you can see that really people didn't know. I, just from my experience, I ordered the 18-inch uh, wheels, uh, those, those aero wheels. And my car had the 19-inch. And the guy came to me. He's like, you, you have a balance of 1,500? I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, you ordered the 19-inch. I said, no, I didn't. I did not order. Look at my, oh, yes, okay, we'll give it to you for free which is fine, I was happy to, to get it, but what I'm saying, you can see the chaos. Now, there's a difference between growing pains and sabotage. Growing pain, everybody goes through it, it's fine. Sabotage is serious, it's criminal. So if he's serious, if really something has happened, it should be investigated. This is serious crap, you know what I mean? It's not, the, it can cost somebody's life. So. Let me know your take about the interview. Watch the whole thing. Give me your take. I really want to know what you think about it. Thank you guys for watching. Like my video and share it on social media. I'll see you tomorrow.